All right, this is worksheet 21.4. We're going to do number 12, which is using the same table that is used in number 11. So each of these grandchildren is allowed to withdraw their inheritance money when they turn 55 years old. But each child is a different age. So Alice is currently 24, Bridget is 11, Charles is 4. When each child withdraws their inheritance, wh whose account will have the greatest value? So I'm going to go ahead and create some space here to evaluate the amount of money that each child will end up with. In the table, you'll notice Alice starts with $500 with an interest rate of 1.1%. There's no compounding, so we don't need to worry about um, dividing this interest rate by anything. So if we use our compound interest formula and we plug Alice's amount of money in, so $500 principal, one plus 1.1% if we move the decimal two times becomes 0 0.011 because the interest is not being compounded this is just happening once a year so I'm just going to divide by one and up in the exponent we're looking at if she's 24 years old and she's going to get the money when she's 55 so 55 <coughs> minus 24 is 31 so I'm going to say 31 years, and it's once a year, so 1 times 31. If we evaluate that, so using a calculator, <coughs> so we have 500, and then 1 plus 0 0.011, and my exponent is 1 times 31. She ends up with $701. and 87 cents. Okay, if we look at Bridget's option, Bridget is um, 11 years old, she'll get the money when she's 55. So let's just figure out how long that's gonna be. 55 minus 11, that'll be 44 years. So she's starting with $500 with a continuous compounding. So that's your keyword that you're looking for to use this formula, P times E to the RT. So she starts with $500 times E to the, the rate is 1%, so 0 0.01, and we decided it would be 44 years. So plugging that in, 500 times E to the 0 0.01 times 44. She'll end up with $776.35. All right, our last person here to calculate is for Charles. Charles um, starts with 200, still continuously compounding, so we're still going to use P times E to the RT. So he starts with $200. E to the, his rate is 5%, so 0 0.05. And Charles is four years old, but he's going to get the money when he's 55. So 55 years minus four is 51. So 51 will be the time. So 200 times E to the 0 0.05 times 51. We'll end up with $2,561.42. So if we look at our three options, whose account will have the greatest value? We can clearly see here that Charles ends up getting the most money in the end when he turns 55. 